Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we'll discuss uh, how to do pair T test in R Studio. Uh, first, we need to know what is T test actually. Uh, pair T test. So, so, the friends, so why do we need to apply pair T test? For that purpose, we need to understand we apply T test. Uh, to the pair T test to test for the significance of a treatment. The, uh, the treatment we are giving, is it uh, significant or not? Uh, before and after kind of thing. Uh, suppose we are having uh, a team of 50 people, uh, in the example I have taken, and the number of complaints we are getting from the customers. Uh, do the number of complaints reduce after a training program we are offering them? Uh, so just see the impact of these kind of training we can do a uh, t-test on their differences like before uh, the training and after the training the number of complaints we are getting uh, and their differences if this difference is significant then we can say yes training is having impact uh, so we should uh, let our employee go for the training otherwise not so should we bear the expense or not so this is helpful in that kind of decisions so it is like simply uh, we can say uh, one sample t-test as well and uh, the assumption for this pair t-test is the pair it is uh, conducted on pairs or related samples and the sample is coming from normal population and now we come we will do it in a free tool that is r studio so this is my data friends uh, here we have 50 observations serial number an X column and Y column we can say X is before and Y is after the training and the difference we are getting X minus Y this is a difference column I have created so what can we do here uh, R provides the T test function for that in which we have argument paired that paired argument is very helpful it's simply if we put true by default it's false but if you put true it will conduct pair T test in simple T test function T test function can be used for one sample and two sample t test as well okay friends so we will conduct uh, so here we have x and y two columns so just to read the columns directly i am attaching the file and uh, now i am doing this t test on x and y column here we have two columns x and y both of them are having 50 observations these 50 pairs mm, these are the 50 employees we can say for understanding so t test on x first variable by second variable these name could differ in your file names then by default function we are putting alternative by default is two-sided we need the same we are saying a null hypothesis the training has no significance the difference before and after is zero mu hypothetical value is zero as I mentioned paired it was false by default so I am putting it true paired is true and the equal variance assumption by default is false here you can take false or you can put true I am taking false uh, just for the ease of understanding um, just to keep it simple uh, confidence level is 5% by default that is 0.95 I am keeping the same so here I am left with only two arguments only one argument actually using the t-test function on variable name x and y and then I am putting pair is equal to true because it's a pair t-test and then I will run the function I will just run the function and these are my results I am getting the t-test that is 0.28 and the p-value is 0.77 since p-value is more than 0.05 we cannot reject the null and we we'll see the difference in the mean uh, uh, the training has no impact and because of the mu or hypothetical value before and after training there is no impact it has no impact at all the mean are same uh, mean of difference is 0 0.18 other values are not and the degree of freedom n minus 1 that is 50 minus 1 49 so training has no impact and uh, as I mentioned it is like simple one sample t-test as well what can you do that here we are taking differences so if we conduct one sample t-test on difference we will get the same results how to do that so I'm just doing t-test difference 
and I'm just not using any other function and using it a run and I'm getting the same values friends the same values like a pair t does one sample the values are 0 0.28 0 0.28 and this is p value is 0 0.7737 0 0.7737 so this is the friends this is the way we can do one sample t test and i had also made one more video you can go and see uh, for one sample two test in detail uh, in r and excel as well okay friends keep watching